Let's make a pen to go with our lemon themed set. Hey everybody, it's Colette with Blessing Scrap Therapy if you didn't know and if you did, thank you so much for coming back. All right, so I made a graphic in Canva and I used Cricut's printable vinyl. I got this stuff at Michael's. Here's the graphic. I'm going to cut it out. It averages out to about one and a half inches wide by 4.7 inches long. Now I have an Inkjoy gel pen. I got mine. You can get them anywhere. You can get them at Michael's. You can get them at Walmart, whatever. And then I take it apart and then I'm going to pull off that clip. Now you can just sand down all the nubbies. But if you are lucky and you find, listen, if you shop at any nail tech store, <laughs> I scored this at Insane Deals for 99 cents. I know. But this is like one of those nail things for nail techs. It's like a little Dremel. I'm not kidding. And all I'm doing is going over the nubbies. The point of all of this is you need to get all of the nubbies down. You want this nice and flat and flush. So there's one on the back that has the logo. There's where the clip was. And then there's just one more under where the clip was. It's like a little nub. Once that's all flat, you're going to wipe it down with rubbing alcohol just to clean it. And then this is my little setup that I use for when I put cups on a turner or I do the drip method. It's crazy pants, I know, but it works like a dream. Anyways, here's our graphic, and I'm going to take part of it off just so that we can kind of place it. Um, you have to figure out which way you want it. Now remember, the rounded edge is the edge that's going to get your clicker. The flat edge is the edge that's going to have the writing implement. So, I mean, the you know, the tip of the pen where, where the ink comes out. I'm not using words right today. <laughs> but then all I'm going to do is smooth it on and see how I'm just smoothing, 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 making sure there are no bubbles, make sure there are no wrinkles, and I smooth that on, and then I attach the other end to the vinyl also, right? And then I just make sure it's really smooth. Now, you could just totally stop there. I'm not kidding. You could just stop there. Look at how great this looks. I am obsessed. Like, look at how awesome. And it's, it's fine. It's waterproof. It's all the things. But you know I can't stop, right? So, the other thing I do is, if you're going to stop there, it's fine, but I hit it with a little heat just to make sure that vinyl really sticks. You know, I'm obsessed with Crystal X Grand Finale. <laughs> I love this stuff. So what I'm going to do is, you can use a brush if you want, and I'm going to show you here how you use a brush. Um, I just put some in a little, some of the Grand Finale in a little cup, and then I just brush it on lightly onto our pens. You have to wait two hours in between each coat. Or you can put it on with your finger because it's non-toxic and it's awesome. I find putting it on with my finger works better. You don't get as many bubbles. You do whichever you'd prefer. You have to wait two hours in between each coat. I did two coats and look at how gorgeous. Two coats and that's what it looks like. Can you believe it? I know I get excited, right? Then we're going to put our pen back together. Put the clicker in, then the ink, then the you know, the tip, and there you go. We want to make sure it works. It does. Look at how pretty they are. I did, yes, I did a bunch of them because I had a bunch of different notebooks I did. Look at how pretty. And again, this is a whole set. You could do this whole set. What a great gift this would make. And hello, you could give yourself a gift. I'm just saying. Anyways, friends, thank you so much for watching. And I hope this inspires you.